Hey everyone, it's Savani Sis, again. and today what we want to talk about is that the more you know who you really are, the less That's stuff you, you desire. desire. Stay, Stay tuned. tuned. everyone today I want to talk about knowing who you really are because the more you know who you really are the less stuff you desire and the less stuff you desire and the more you know who you really are you become happier you feel much more joy in life so who are you really who are we well Kashmir are you your name no nope, I'm not because when I came out of my mother's womb, my temporary body was given a name. My name is also found on my birth certificate, but it's not who I really am. And who actually gave you your name? My parents. That's it. So that's what your name is. So that's not really who you are. Are you your job? Are you your career? Are you your profession? Nope, I'm none of those things. That's just something you studied, went to university, got a certificate, yep. a stamp. That's what your yes. physical body is doing, right? Exactly. Yeah, but it's not who you really are. No. Do you know who you really are? Simply put, this is very simple. You are a physical body, as we can see, housed in a soul. You are not a soul housed in a physical body. You are a physical body housed in a soul. Why is it that way around? It's because your physical body has limitations. Your soul is expansive, doesn't have any boundaries. It's unlimited. Just imagine if your soul is expansive, it's not confined to this physical body. It actually can be very expansive. So let's say if your soul was out here, your physical body would be inside your soul. So as you know, the soul never dies, but the physical body perishes. The soul is eternal. When you are born, you are a clicking time clock to death. And as you know, the soul never dies, but your physical body perishes. The moment you're born, you're one step closer to death because eventually your physical body will age and it will die. But your soul goes on forever. It's eternal. It's actually limitless. It's beyond space and time. So when you expand your awareness of who you really are, that means to be in the present moment. Because if you're in the present moment, then that's when you can be aware. If you're not in the present moment, in other words, your thoughts are in the past or in the future, you miss what's going on right now. So the only way you can be fully aware is when you stay in the present moment. And very few of us actually stay in the present moment even for a few seconds. So it's a practice, it's a skill to do that. And the more you do that, the more you become more aware of who you really are. The second way of discovering who you really are is meditation. Because meditation is a way of overcoming your body, time and environment. If you do meditation really well, and that's also a practice as well, what you notice is that you're no longer aware of your physical body and all the aches and pains while you're sitting to do the meditation. And the second thing is that you forget your environment. You actually forget for a while where you are, that you're sitting in your room or sitting in this location. And you also lose track of time. Notice that when you have a really good meditation, you feel like you've only been sitting there for five minutes, but actually an hour has passed. That's when you know you've overcome your body, time and environment because that's no longer you. You're not bound by time. You're not your body and you're not the environment, the people, places you see, the circumstances, the stuff that you own. You're actually beyond all of that. And so meditation is a really good way to kind of get rid of those things just for a little while and so that you can actually go within and really know what is this awareness? What is this thing that's aware that it's aware? And you also know that you are not your thoughts. We did this in another video, where your thoughts come from. The thoughts aren't really you. It's from past programming, or you picked up thoughts from other people, or sometimes those thoughts are from programming in general, what you see around you. So your thoughts are not really yours, and normally our thoughts limit us. It's always imposing limitations on ourselves. You are much more than that. You're much more than your thoughts. You're much more than your physical body. And as you realize more and more who you really are, you discover the power that you possess within you. You experience more joy. You find that there is less stuff out there that can bring you joy. You realize that that stuff brings you short-lived joy. But when you know who you really are and you go within to discover that and you expand your awareness of it, 
your joy is more prolonged. It's not as short-lived. You also are able to take life lightheartedly. If you're faced with any challenges, it doesn't affect you as much as it would normally because you know that this is all transient, this is all an illusion, and this is all temporary, and it's just a life experience. You may even find that life becomes playful, and that's a wonderful way to look at life rather than being so serious with it. If you notice that some of the top gurus out there are very playful, mischievous, and they have this inner laugh or inner joy about them. If you've ever seen Sadhguru, Sadhguru is very well known on YouTube, check him out if you don't know him. He jokes, he jokes around, he takes things lightheartedly. In fact, when he laughs, his entire his body, body moves, shakes. right? Yes, his whole body and who else laughs. touched me? There's somebody and else. And the laughing Buddha. Why is the Buddha statue is always smiling and laughing and joyful? The laughing Buddha, even the Dalai Lama is always laughing and talking the about The Dalai Lama is always laughing. Yeah. So, you know, you just find life playful. You can face challenges with much more ease. And everybody has challenges in their life. We all have challenges. We all have challenges. We all have. And if you haven't had any recently, you may have some later on in your life. You don't know what life is going to bring to you. Everything becomes much more easier when you know who you really are. You come from a place of authenticity. When you're more authentic, you attract better people in your life. You improve relationships in your life. You have more joyful life experiences and you're activating your inner sukha. So remember, if you make this your number one goal, really get to know you. Not the things you own, not the people you know, not your name, not what you do, but who are you really? Get to know you. I'm telling you, life will only get better and better for you. That's all from us now. Stay tuned for our next video. Just hit the subscribe button, give us a like, and we shall see you on the next video. Bye, Bye for now. now.